As President Trump continues to fight for a free and fair election and for all Americans, legal challenges continue to advance in six key swing states. In Georgia today, the president's legal team shared explosive new evidence of voter fraud at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta's Fulton County. They revealed surveillance video that shows four poll workers counting ballots in secret after Republican poll watchers had been ordered out of the room, out of the building. Take a look at this. So according to the witnesses, the Republican observers, there is a lady who has blonde braids who comes out to announce we're going to stop counting. Everyone go home. And in fact, we see that. What happens is everyone clears out, including the Republican observers in the press, but four people stay behind and continue counting and tabulating well into the night. So what you're going to see, look at the ladies in yellow. You'll see that they will begin just sitting still, doing nothing, ostensibly not working, because after all, they said they're gonna stop counting. They will wait until the witnesses over there in that roped off area, the press and the observers, leave the room. Then you'll see them move into action and begin scanning ballots. The video, the video also shows those workers hauling out suitcases from beneath their desks and tables after the Republican poll watchers had been removed from the room. President Trump quickly reacted to the video on Twitter. He said, wow, blockbuster testimony taking place right now in Georgia. Ballot stuffing by Dems when Republicans were forced to leave the large counting room. Plenty more coming, but this alone leads to an easy win of the state. More explosive evidence of election irregularities, electoral fraud, highlighted at a hearing before the Michigan House Oversight Committee. Former information warfare officer and retired Army Colonel Phil Waldron testified before lawmakers last night. And he's this, he said that votes from Dominion voting machines are ultimately counted in Europe. One of the myths that uh, has been propagated uh, even by the, the director of CISA at Homeland Security, which is the uh, cybersecurity and infrastructure um, security agency, is that, well, these machines are not connected to the Internet. In the operator's manual, there's a whole page of references that show you how and when to connect and what selectors to connect to servers and to routers so it is connected to the Internet. Um, that's how you get uh, election night reporting. Um, that's through another company called uh, Clarity Elections. Um, they provide, um, you know, early reporting to, to the news media. Matter of fact, um, as I was looking at one of your, one of the counties where I, I saw the spike, I believe it's Oakland County, um, I was going to the Oakland County, the 2020 elections uh, results, and I clicked on the elections results and a, and a warning flag pops up to the right side and it says you're leaving this domain, you're going to Clarity Elections dot slash MI. So the information for the counties in your state um, isn't really maintained or owned by, by your county and state, but rather uh, a corporation uh, that's uh, owned by SOE Software and CITL, uh, S-C-Y-T-L, which is a Madrid, Spain corporation. It went bankrupt in May of uh, 2020 and was purchased by another uh, UK registered company. Another UK registered company. Incredible. And to watch these hearings, it is clear that elected officials don't even understand how they've been elected, or at least about half of them. The Justice Department remains silent throughout the mounting evidence of electoral fraud across the country, saying absolutely nothing about what is clearly wide-ranging electoral fraud.